Hello oh, everyone, uh, hello patrons and or people on YouTube, not sure how this will go out or when or in what fashion, uh, we are doing a stream, we're doing, uh, Idol's album, we're doing the Seraphim's album, maybe some other stuff, uh, I'm really excited to get to both of these, and uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm really, really, really excited for both these albums. So, let's hop into Idol, let's go. Uh, nude is great, <laughs> which is now words that there's a recording of me on the internet saying. Nude is great. Uh, we're actually going to play it again. Uh, yeah, this song is great though. It's my favorite idol title track in a minute. It's by far better than Tomboy for me. Like, by orders of magnitude. But I love this chorus. To me, this is like... Certainly top five idol title tracks. Maybe top four. Maybe top three, but I don't know. But definitely top five. This slide from Mion, man, man, man. This string hook goes so hard. This string hook goes insane on the drop. We got we got a joke, don't worry. Oh, and that stinger is so uh, like film noir. It's like even like got the like. It's even got like the scratchy like crackle. Oh, like, generally, once again, title track's not my favorite songs on the album. I really like this one, so... I'd be shocked if this is not my favorite song on this project. Which, every time I say that, something happens and it's better, but I don't mind being wrong in that way. Like, I love this breakdown. The super sassy breathing. The left right pan. The, uh. The, like, cracked out bass that's fallen through. And this uh, ending part is so vaudeville. It's so vaudeville. Yeah, it's really good. That's really good. That's really good. I think I already did this. No, I didn't. Yes, K-pop. Yes, the rotation. Great song. Overall, good, good idol title track. Like I said, definitely top five. Maybe my fourth. Probably not top three, but it's getting there. So... And uh, yeah, the, the the Banksy reference, the obviously the Marilyn shout out as well. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. On to the first actual B side, and now actual reactions begin. Chat the reaction channel will now begin reacting. Yeah, Madonna, like 
Here's love. Hey, ex boyfriend, hi, ex. Chaco in style, I'm time out on there. Uh oh. He on the gram? I'll get you, mama. Lab is perfect. I need to say it. I need to say it. The work's piling up. No time for you, loser. No time for you, loser. Hey, they're returning to the, the rock elements as well. We got kind of a pop rock build. That's an addictive little love. Oh yeah, we we've had this conversation about the pop rock finka. <laughs> I forgot about that. I really like how the vocals are uh, kind of stripped back from the rest of the instrumental. They're like pretty isolated. Almost to like in a weird degree, I think. This is almost too repetitive, but there's just enough changing up. It's like just when I think I'm like, I want something else, like a chord will change. Or an ad lib comes in. I like the song though so far. It's a. Uh, it's one of the safe chord progressions. The guitar and then the pluck bass lead are really nice. Don't live about mini over just piano chords, man. Build in the harmony as well. This is fun. This is nice. That's me, she's my love. Aww. <laughs> Cool. That's cool. Hey, you, you gotta love yourself. It's true. You gotta love yourself before you can be happy with someone else, I think. Just how it is. If you don't get you, it's a lot harder for other people to get you. So, that's cool. That's a really nice turn. This is, like, so... It's almost like Hallmark. It's, like, it's so... Cheesy and like upfront about like the message, but it it just feels good, man. The chord progression gets to me. It's nice. It's uh it's a little little pop rock self love ballad. We're not gonna complain about that. It'll go in the rotation. It'll probably get pulled out of the rotation because songs like this have like I think somewhat limited replay value for me. But uh, it's definitely going in there for now. Uh, it's, it's really nice. It's just a nice, fun song. Chords are nice. Vocals are nice. Yeah. It just, it just feels good to listen to. You know, you're having a bad day, doubting yourself, feeling bad, whatever. It feels like a nice song to throw on. So. Yeah. On to change. Interesting. Solid, huh? Ooh. Organ immediately. <laughs> that opening is really cool, actually. Our expansion here. This is a mini song. 
Yeah, I didn't even pull up the credits. I should, probably. Ooh. Starts. Ooh, that's a good. Mmm. That's a nice verse. I am a sucker for this chord progression as well. Oogie's voice on Oogie's voice in front of uh like like any kind of uh saw is so good. Like you guys know I was obsessed with Giant. Like when she when she's singing over anything anything deep as like a like a bass, oh it's so good. It's so good. Also these chords are really nice. This is like a super Kind of clean, understated chord progression. It's a really satisfying chord progression. That's a really satisfying chord progression. I think. I could listen to just the instrumental of the song, I'm being honest. This is like, this is, this is a super, 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 super cool instrumental so far. Like, really cool. That textured on life. Ooh, ooh. I like how sharp the drum fill is as well. It's a super, super sharp drum fill. Man, just these chords creeping up. I'm such a sucker for anything that feels remotely epic. <laughs> I know the word epic gets memed on at this point, but... Like, epic shit never stops getting to me. And these are like, hero chords. Gorgeous use of vibrato. It's it's like it's almost actually operatic the way she's singing this. It's super uh super vibrato leaning. Singing in as well instead of out. Yeah. 
Yeah, TikTok challenges. Could happen. We got so many groups promoting right now. I could see all kinds of TikTok challenges coming. Oh, it just ends? Man, I wanted a chord I wanted a chord fade out. I wanted the chords to just fade out. No, I wanted like another 20 seconds of instrumental fade out there. Uh, that's really, really good. That's... Ah, I really like Nude, but man, this is like... This could be my fa- I, this is my favorite so far. Certainly it's my favorite of the two B-sides, but this... Uh, this might be better than Nude. It might be. It might be. This is a really cool song. Um, like I said, so much of that comes down to me being weak to these type of chords. I like them leaning on the saw. Yeah, that's interesting, Finko. I love Minnie's voice on this song. Like I said, there's something, um, something almost, almost operatic. There's a lot of drama in this. A lot of drama in this song. I love that uh, the rapper leads immediately, like 20 seconds in the song, so it's rapping already. Such a smooth flow over those chords. Yeah, this one is really good. This is really good. That's so cool. That's so cool. This one is really cool, man. This is some crazy, like... Yeah, this is some crazy... Some crazy epicness is going on. Really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Um, yeah, we can move on, but that that is... That one is dope. That is dope. Thank you so much to everyone who's chosen to support me this month on Patreon, with special appreciation going to Wookbook, Daniel Reigns, Muse Ribbons, Lucky7Gen, 42 Ariadna, Atsushi Ray H, Mushroomy, 